The hunt is on. Here's your look at the new Hyatt Toys Exquisite Mini Predator 2 Warrior Predator. Exquisite Mini is the new stand series for 118th super articulated action figures from the folks over at Hyatt Toys. Before we get this review started, let's first figure out how tall, there we go, right to the very top, how tall is the Warrior Predator? And we'll stop the tape measure right there. From its foot, or the bottom of its feet, to the top of its helmet, you're looking at 4.6 inches in height. In centimeters, let me go ahead and do that for you right now, 11.7 centimeters tall is the Warrior Predator. Like with the Elder Predator, Warrior Predator also comes with the same display base. In fact, I think it's the same display base. We'll do some comparisons in a second to see if I'm correct or not. Uh, a nice little ground, almost dirtied, roughed up terrain here. It looks like it actually has two different colors, but I think it's actually only one color. And the other space that isn't as smooth comes across a little bit darker in contrast. Maybe it is a little bit lighter of a color right here. There's also the peg point right there that will connect to the foot of the Warrior Predator. It looks the same pretty much from all different sides. Texturing will, of course, vary. And there's still the slots on the underside, which comes with these little eye-shaped pegs. Now, they don't do too much as they are right now. They're going to sit rather loose instead. Uh, that is until you connect the two Predators together. So what I'm going to do, I just so happen to also have Elder Predator, which we've already had a look at. I'm going to take the figure off the display stand and I've got it displayed currently with its flint lock, flint lock pistol. This is a comparison by the way of the two figures side by side. I wanted to show you how they look side by side. It stands, not the figures, the stands. Uh, upon closer inspection, yeah, it does look like they are the same stands. I thought maybe the coloring, maybe it does look like the coloring is a little bit off from one to the other, but I just want to flip them upside down, show you how these, these actually work. I'm going to line them up, Make sure these grooves line up to one another. And then you're going to take this and you're just going to attach them. They obviously don't, they're not going to go anywhere. And we'll grab the other one. You really only need one, but I'm going to grab two just to show you. Just to fully put them together, finish them off nicely. And you imagine, if you will, this could go out, these could go out. I mean, you could just continue to expand and expand and expand until you got this one massive diorama display base don't get me started i'm even thinking about it right now pretty cool uh i do find though i'm just going to detach just detach these there we go i do find that the peg holes which i mentioned and alluded at with the look of elder predator i find that the pegs are a little too big for the hole that's just something i've noticed uh, when you are putting it into his feet for example just to show you you sort of have to break it in twisting it twisting the foot, that is, until you eventually get it firmly planted on the display base. Part of me kind of wishes that there could have been a second peg. I guess it's not really necessary, but I just find like the foot, if you don't firmly plant one foot, the other foot kind of gives it a look like it's levitating, floating, if you will. A second peg could have certainly aided in that, but I guess that's not really necessary. I mean, do we really need a secondary peg? Get a load of this guy talking about secondary pegs. Um, but just to show you, there's the two figures side by side. I'm sure we're going to do some more comparisons. Of course we will. That's what we do on this channel. Nice looking figures and both unique to one another. Take this off. We'll put that to the side because we really don't need to look at that anymore. We're going to put Elder to the side. Don't worry, he'll be back. And we'll have a look at the accessories that come included. Luckily, Warrior Predator comes with unique accessories to the otherwise Elder Predator that we've already had a look at. Why don't we first have a look, grabbing this right here. This is, of course, the combi stick. A little telescoping, although this one has not telescoped, but telescoping a spear. Now, this one happens to be retracted, and as you can see there, 
the band on the front or all the way around has been painted in green. And just to show you, let's grab the combi stick from Elder Predator to show you the difference between the two. The banding in the middle here is almost more of a bluish gray, whereas Warriors seems obviously to be a little bit more like a green, like a mint green. These would, in theory, retract back in, and then you would have had this as the outcome of that. So I like that they do vary from one another. I mean, it's not to say that you couldn't use this combi stick with the Warrior Predator. You could really do whatever you want, but I'm just showing you the ones that are currently are available for the Warrior is this one right here. Moving along, the other accessory that comes included with him, a rather small one, this is the Smart Disc. Holding my hand up just so that the camera doesn't think that I want to focus my efforts on the Predator. I know we're going to get to that in a second camera. But in the meantime, I just want to show the viewers, the very kind viewers, take the time, the courtesy to watch this channel. Thank you for doing that, by the way. Look at the intricate little details that they put on such a small disc. Small is certainly the word I would want to use. I feel proportionately it's a little too small, say, for example, to the hands. Now the hands, if you are to, say, use, I'm just putting down for a second, I keep promising I'm going to look at you, Warrior Predator, but use the fanned out hands, which appear to be the same hands. They do, let's have a look here, I didn't actually look at the two side by side. No, they are different hands to one another. The sculpting here, this has actually been sculpted in rather than painted in. They are unique hands to one another. Getting sidetracked, getting sidetracked. I wanted to show you though, proportionately to scale, I feel like the smart disc is too small. I feel like it could be maybe a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. It doesn't really allow it to properly hold it, being that the hands are also the way that they are, they're fanned up rather than fanned forward, does make things tricky when you want to put it into its hand. Um, what I've done in some instances when I was displaying him previously to this review, I tried to just fit one or two of the fingers into the holes and just sort of write off the rest of it because it would be impossible to get every single finger in every single hole. And you can see there, it's very small. It's probably could have been just a little bit bigger. Whoop, <laughs> let's not drop it. Hold on a second, let me go pick that up. Certainly by its size, I wouldn't want to be losing it. There is also a section on the side in which the smart disk can fit can peg into place. It doesn't pe peg well. I mean, it, I find just banging it. Oh, watch now, it's not going to fall out. Just banging it, I did notice that the smart disc frequently fell out of its little holstered area there on the side of its belt. Realizing again, it's going to get lost. I'm just going to put that to the side. And lastly, rounding out the rest of his accessories, comes of course included with the fanned hands. Do I say of course, a lot in these reviews. Of course, makes me realize that maybe you guys don't know that he was gonna come included with it until I reveal it, until I mention it in the review. So I probably shouldn't say of course. I apologize for that. So he does come included with a couple of fan hands. Changing them out can be relatively easy. Changing them out on one hand at least can be relatively easy. We'll talk a little bit about the other one in a few seconds. Don't start the time watch, the countdown right now. There's one, that's pretty easy. This one here I find it a little trickier. You gotta unpeg it, which of course reveals a peg, a ball joint, if you will, on the end. I find getting the other hand in place. Maybe I'm just being overly worrisome that I'm gonna be breaking off the blades here on the side. That's certainly not what I wanna be doing. But I do find it's a little trickier to get the hand in there. There we go and you can get both hands in place. Uh, of course, this will eliminate any at all possibilities that you wanna be displaying the figure with accessories, but certainly for this review, I have to show you that in theory, it is possible. I'm gonna go ahead and despite all that, take the hand out once again, find the appropriate hand on the other hand and plug that back into place. That, in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, represents all the accessories that come included with the figure. Now, I guess all we really need to do is focus now efforts looking at this fantastic rendition of Warrior Predator. 
A nice looking figure, I have to admit. It's got some really interesting paint choices to it that the Elder Predator doesn't have. Sounds like almost a segue. It does sound like a segue. There he is once again right there with the pistol in hand. A very nice contrast of colors. The honey yellow that made up the majority of Elder Predator. Nowhere to be found now on the Warrior Predator. Warrior, in fact, not the Ultimate Warrior. Could you imagine if Ultimate Warrior was a Predator? It would hunt you for probably about 15 seconds, tire out, and they would be useless for the rest of the whole, the whole hunt. I'm so sorry, Warrior Predator. Anyways, Warrior Predator, <laughs> getting off topic here. Coloring is a little bit more subdue, a little bit more blues, a little bit more grays. Even like the gray itself, if I spin the figure around, almost seems to have more of a purple tint to it. Whereas as you can see, the Elder Predator exhibited more silvers, brighter silvers, versus the more darker nature of the colors that make up this one's armor. I love the head sculpt. Kind of reminds me of the uh, the alien, uh, the AVP uh, Predator. Not Scar, not Celtic or Celtic, the other one. The other one. It's got some nice little new nuances, new additional things added to the sides there, just kind of giving it some more detailing to the side ventilation, I suppose. It's also got some Yuja, Yuta, Yuja, scroll work there on the side. Something that's relatively new to this outing is the striping on the front. Now, we were just talking about bumblebees or honeybees for the Elder Predator. This one definitely has a very insect-like striping there on the front. Kind of nice. It looks like it's just sort of... I would ask why that Predator would have striped it the way that it did, or way that it did, but I guess all Predators are unique to one another. They all have to come up with their own calling cards for their own specified helmets. This one just decided to put striping on the front of it. I don't think it actually has a practical function to it. This is just simply, he just likes to design stuff. You should see his jean jacket. It's, it's unbelievable. It's got so much bedazzled stuff on it. It would just knock your socks off if you were wearing socks. Please wear socks. Um, it does look like the helmet wants to remove. It is not removable, at least from what I can tell. There is a big, considerable, noticeable gap there, but try as I might, no, the helmet is not removable. It's a very long, also, helmet versus, I would show you Elders, but Elder didn't come with one, but this one a much more five-head sort of helmet versus the other ones that we've looked at before. I want to say, like, the armor is minimal, but I guess it has the same level of armor that most Predators would have anyways. Shoulders, for example. The front guarding uh, plating here, which makes its way then to the back. Plasma caster is completely omitted right here. It's been just taken right out of the mix. Uh, there is a groove there in which it would have indicated that a, a caster could have been used, or the little pulser, uh, little cannon could have been used, but not, not here, not present on this Predator. Love the detail, though, on it. Would it be a good assumption to say it has a slight purple tint to the silver? Anybody else would get on board that? Anybody else would agree with that, perhaps? Of course, the meshing is still a common trait with most Predator figures. This one happens to have the gray, almost kind of looks like a chain-length fence over top of a bluish tinted skin. Really do like that. Of course, the blades do retract. A little bit trickier to kind of get your hands in there, but they retract much longer than really what it looks like it should retract. I'm using material from my Elder Predators, but still, the, the same thing holds true. It does feel like it sticks out a little bit longer than what it really actually should. Um, here on the other side, there is no detonation or little control console panel that can flip out. Instead, you're sort of only treated just to really great sculpting, as you can see right there. You've got the skirts, of course, the side for the smart disc. The other side, I believe, is a repair kit. Not 100% certain on that. Of course, then you've got the knees and the shin guards also armored up, decked out in the same purple-tinted silver. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. It's interesting that the lower half of the legs seem to exhibit a little bit more darker airbrushing to the legs. Up here, it doesn't have that as much. Down below, a little bit more relegated to 
uh, more darker colors than anything else. Kind of like that. It's a little bit of a nice contrast. I like this figure, I have to admit. And it's different enough, which I also quite like too. I always like differences between Predators, that they don't just look like carbon copies to one another. Let's run through his posability, shall we? Now his head rotates all the way around. In theory, I do find rotating the head too much that the entanglement of dreads is guaranteed. It gets does seem to get stuck and in the way. This also uh, works to my advantage to be able to see a little bit more of the neck that I couldn't see when we looked at Elder Predator. Further examination shows that it does look like, in fact, there is a ball joint here, and further up, right there, there's a secondary ball joint that sits in the cavity of the head. So the head does move independently on its own, up and down, and in theory all the way around. But then you've got the second aiding ball joint right here that does all the neck positioning. You want to tilt the neck even as well. So it does give some extra range where range wouldn't be possible before. Perhaps even with a single ball joint, you wouldn't have necessarily the range that you have here. It does give it a slightly longer neck portrait. I can't necessarily, not knowing this guy personally, I'm sure he's a great guy and you know you want to hang out and have beers with the guy, but he does seem like he's got a slightly long neck. It probably is due to the cause of not having all the additional... Uh, necklaces and all the uh, extra ornaments that Elder had. Maybe Elder was able to conceal it a little bit more, but it does seem like he's got a slightly long neck. The arms hinge outward. And sort of has the same problem where they stop abruptly just because of the large nature of the armor on the sides of the arms in the shoulder pad area. The arms also rotate all the way around. Swivels at the bicep. Hinges at the elbow. If anybody was asking, by the way, single hinge on the elbow, just one, just one hinge. The gauntlets uh, rotate on their own, and the hands rotate on their own, as they should. Just drop the hand. We'll replace it anyways with a gripping hand. I haven't forgotten about that hand, in case somebody was wondering. If you wanted to aid and help, lend a helping hand, don't worry, I can see the hand right there. It's like I'm looking at it right now. Let's go back to the review. Upper torso ball joint, lower torso, not so much. Doesn't look like it's got a hinge happening whatsoever. Seems to keep most of it all kept to the upper torso ball joint as a place in which you can do all the posability for this predator. Legs split out, you can go forward, you can go back, you can swivel at the, at the thigh. I'm still looking at that hand down there, by the way. Double hinge on the knee. And then you got the foot rotation. This all sits on a ball joint. Well, in theory, it, wrote, it sits on a ball joint. There's technically a hinge in there as well. Can you see it? It's right there. Doesn't give you much, but there's a hinge happening right there as well. I like the colors of this guy. The dark, broodier colors. Can I say broody? That seems like such a, such a negative thing to say. A negative way to describe the figure. Let's not drop the figure, by the way. He's got broody colors. I mean, yeah, I'm running with it. Producer saying, no, don't don't go with that. I'm going to run with it. I'm going to run with it, producer. This guy's got broody colors. Broody in a good way, by the way. I like the dark colors, the dark nature of the blues. Kind of that purple tinted silver works wonders for this guy. And even though his helmet doesn't seem to have that same shared color, he's got a great palette to him on an already really perfect frame of these superposable figures from the folks over at Haya Toys. I am one to admit that this reviewer is not the greatest when it comes to posing. So in final looks, I opted for a little bit more of a broodier pose, going back to what I talked about in the end of this review, for the Warrior Predator. Loving the way that these guys are smaller scale figures, because up to this point, we were, most of us, collecting 7 inch tall figures. Don't let the size fool you. I think you get just as much detailing, color, and all that good stuff with a taller scale figure here in a smaller, more compact three and three quarter inch or closer to be about a four and a half inch tall figure. He's got a good fair share of accessories. I kind of wish that the smart disc, while it can hold in his holster better than I thought, unfortunately I feel it's a little too small to fit in his hand. Likely I'll probably be displaying it though with the spear in his hand instead, and even though it isn't extended, it definitely looks like he's about to extend it and engage in battle. 
Loving the colors again on this one. If you are interested in picking up the Warrior Predator or the Elder Predator that we looked at in previous review, both of which can be found now at your local toy stores, if you guys are interested. Today we were having a look at the Hyatt Toys. This was the Predator 2 Exquisite Mini, and this was the Warrior Predator in broody colors. I'm going to stick with that. We're going we're, we're, we're to stick with it. Producers saying don't stick with it. We're gonna we're, no, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna stick with it. Want to go back and have a look at some of my other Hyatt Toy reviews? Don't blame you. There's a whole playlist just for Hyatt Toys. You can check out some of the Colonial Marines or the other Predator figures that we've looked at on this channel. And certainly stay tuned as well. We're gonna have a look at some other Hyatt Toy releases also. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below, Bunkos, because that will mean that when new videos are coming to this channel, you're not gonna miss out. You're not be that guy that's walking down the street. You're about to meet up with friends, and they're like, "Oh, we got to go back to my house." Review Spot's got a new video going online. Mark says, "Well, hey, don't hold on a second. I didn't know he had a new video going online. Did you subscribe, Mark? No, I." I didn't subscribe. Come on, Ryan. We'll leave Mark to his unsubscribed status. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below because certainly more videos will be coming your way, guys. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.